Today, I'm going to be playing through the career of Jamar Chase, but after every season, he's going to be switching to a new team. So as you guys can see, obviously to start off year number one, Jamar Chase is on the Cincinnati Bengals. As you can see, they do have a pretty solid offense. I mean, the O-line isn't the best in the world, but we can work with this. And same story with the defense. It's not the best in the league, but it's definitely workable. I mean, obviously we all seen the Bengals get absolutely obliterated by the Browns the other day. We're just going to pretend like that didn't happen, but we're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs this team is looking pretty solid so hopefully we can make it here in year number one and as you can see we had a pretty solid season going 13 and 4 to win the division we played the chargers in the wild card round but i mean unfortunately chase didn't do a whole lot this season he had 853 yards for only three touchdowns i mean i feel like he definitely would have hit the 1000 yard mark if he didn't get injured he's out for another three weeks as well so the only way he plays is if this team makes it to the super bowl but luckily for for us we're gonna beat the chargers so now we play the ravens we also obliterated the ravens so now we play the chiefs for a trip to the super bowl i mean at this point we're gonna need an absolute miracle if we want to win this game because one jamar chase is out you guys already know that but the one you guys didn't know about t higgins is also out so the only weapons we have to work with is mixon and boyd and i mean two kansas city has home team advantage and three orlando brown is also out so we have a lot of injuries right now so i mean i'm just praying that that doesn't cost us the game but joe burrow is gonna need to give it his absolute best boyd is open and that's gonna be another first down i mean on the bright side we have had a pretty good drive so far we gotta make sure we finish this off with some points though mixon is gone that's gonna be another first down we can't squeeze past for a touchdown though nine yards and we're in the end zone though i'm gonna try and hit Irwin, and hopefully he can be open here that's gonna be really close and we're gonna be one yard short oh man it's third down we need one yard if we get stuffed at the line we're screwed but we're gonna get pushed in for the touchdown so so Mixon's going to get in for the score. So, I mean, we're up 7-0, which definitely isn't a bad start. But we're going to sim to the end of this game. And, I mean, the fact that it's in KC and Patrick Mahomes is literally unstoppable. This might be a tough game. As you can see, we have a two-point lead in the fourth quarter. If we score here, that might put things away. But we're only going to get a field goal. So Mahomes takes the lead with 37 seconds left. I mean, all we need to do is get a field goal to send it to overtime, but we're gonna get a touchdown, which is gonna give us a last second win to send us to the Super Bowl. I mean, honestly, I really was not expecting that, but Joe Burrow clutched up big time. I will take it. And it looks like we take on the Giants in the Super Bowl. I mean, I'd like to think we can win this game. They got absolutely packed by the Cowboys on Sunday night football. But anyways, on the bright side for us, Orlando Brown is back, which is a huge plus. And even better, we got Jamar Chase back. So we have more than just Tyler Boyd and Mixon to work with. I mean, we're still without T. Higgins, which kind of sucks. But I mean, Jamar Chase is by far the best wide receiver on this team. So hopefully he can show out today. That's going to be a first down. I'm going to switch it up, though, since I just hit Chase. I'm going to see if we can get Tyler Boyd open. I mean, if he can get open, that's going to be a massive pickup for another first down. I mean, this play right here is looking real good. If Chase can get open, this should be a touchdown. The way the defense is set up, though, I mean, there's a very high chance this gets shut down. I'm just going to go on the run with Burrow. I mean, the Giants brought up a fourth down. It's fourth and inches, so hopefully we can get this. I am putting all of my trust in Mixon right now. Oh, we almost got hit. We're going to squeak through. Oh, that was so terrifying chase can get open that would be great but i'm hoping that this route works and mixon is gonna be open for the first down we're not gonna get the touchdown though i mean we only need two yards here so i am really hoping that chase can get open if he's locked up i don't know what i'm gonna do but that's looking good and we're gonna catch it for the touchdown which is gonna tie the game up but i mean now it's time for the moment of truth we're gonna sim to the end of this game and hopefully we can get a super bowl in year number one as you can see in the fourth quarter i mean we're getting absolutely obliterated right now which i didn't think would happen to the new york giants i thought that should be a pretty easy win for us i mean we had a good run at least we made it to the super bowl but as you can see it looks like daniel jones and the giants are going to be hoisting the lombardi trophy in year number one but anyways that's going to bring us to year number two and as you can see our boy jamar chase signed with the detroit lions and i mean at this point this team is absolutely stacked i mean gibbs is an 80 overall 
overall. And I mean, this O-line is absolutely insane. On the downside, I mean, this defense is kind of a downgrade from the Bengals, but they're still all right looking. But we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs. And I mean, hopefully our boy Jamar Chase can carry the Lions to the playoffs this year. But unfortunately, this stacked roster kind of tanked this year going eight and nine to miss the playoffs. That one really hurts. Cause I mean, the division was totally winnable. The Vikings won the division at eight and nine as well. So it was just terrible. We didn't have the best season either, but we did better than last year with 1,064 yards for five touchdowns. And it looks like the Bengals ended up making it back to the Super Bowl, but they're gonna lose to the Cowboys. That is a rough go for the Bengals, man. I mean, back-to-back -back Super Bowl losses is crazy. But anyways, that's gonna bring us to year number three. And it looks like we're staying in the division because this year he went to the Packers. And I mean, it looks like this team is definitely improved. Jordan Love has gone all the way up to an 85 overall. For some reason, we also have Mac Jones. And on the defensive side, I mean, I'd say this is definitely an upgrade from the Lions. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs. And I mean, I'm feeling good about this season. I have liked what I've seen out of Jordan Love so far, and hopefully he'll go off again this year. And it looks like the Packers are gonna surprise the league this year, going 13 and four to win the division, which is also gonna give us the number one seed in the playoffs. And it seems like every season we just get better and better. This year we had 1,105 yards for seven touchdowns. I mean, it looks like that Jordan Love Jamar Chase duo is working out very nicely. It's looking like the Packers are back on top in the NFC right now, but we played Jalen Hurts and the Eagles in the divisional round. I mean, that should be a test for us. And it looks like we're gonna get the dub. So now we play the Bucks for a trip to the Super Bowl. I mean, I really wasn't expecting to make it this far, but I'm definitely happy we did. The Packers are a fun team to use, and I feel like Love and Chase are gonna be a pretty crazy duo. That is a massive pickup to start off the drive. I mean, we got Aaron Jones as well, so I'm gonna try and use him to our advantage. I mean, I'm gonna see if we can get a run going here. And it looks like, oh, this might get shut down. We're still up. We're not gonna get a first, but that's a solid gain either way. I really need this to work though. I mean, the Bucks brought up a third down. I'm not gonna lie. We're kind of getting dogged by this defense right now. Oh, one yard short, I'm going for it. Come on, bro. Aaron Jones, it's one yard. You can do this. You've done this a million times. Just don't get stopped behind the line and we're good. That is gonna be a touchdown off of a fourth and one conversion. That is what we like to see okay so we're gonna take the lead first here now it's time to sim to the end of this game i mean the packers haven't made the super bowl for quite a while now so hopefully this jordan love jamar chase duo can carry them this year as you can see we have a really close game in the fourth quarter the bucks are gonna score and get the two-point conversion to tie the game up we got a field goal and then the bucks scored again so i mean it's either something or nothing here our season is on the line and we're gonna give the ball up which is gonna end off this game and our season. I mean, that is a really disappointing way to go. I feel like this team was definitely built to make it to the Super Bowl this year, but that Bucks defense has really improved, so they are gonna ruin our day. But anyways, that brings us to year number four, and it looks like our boy Jamar Chase went to the Houston Texans this year, and I mean, all honesty, this team is not looking bad. I mean, CJ Stroud went up to an 84 overall, Pierce is a 95 overall, and we also have St. Brown on this team now, and and I mean, this defense has definitely improved a lot over the years. So there is a very high chance that the Texans can actually do something this year, but we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs. And I really hope the Texans surprise the league because I mean, that would actually be pretty cool to see. But unfortunately, it looks like that's not gonna happen because the Texans won eight and nine, which doesn't put them in the playoffs. I mean, you guys seen that roster. They were actually pretty good looking, so I thought they might do something, but as per usual, the Texans are gonna disappoint their fans, but Jamar Chase didn't disappoint. He had 966 yards, which isn't the best for him, but he did have eight touchdowns, and it looks like Josh Allen finally made it to a Super Bowl just to lose to Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. But anyways, that's gonna bring us to year number five, which is gonna be the final season of this video, and as you can see to end things off, our boy Jamar Chase went to the San Francisco 49ers. And I mean, other than the Bengals, I'd say this is definitely his best bet at getting a Super Bowl ring. I mean, they say defense wins championships and this defense is absolutely loaded. But anyways, for the final time, we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs. And I mean, the Niners seem to make it to the playoffs every season. So that shouldn't be a problem. 
And as expected, the Niners went off this year going 15-2 to win the division by a long shot. And it looks like they're also going to get the number one seed in the playoffs. It looks like, again, Jamar Chase didn't do the best yards-wise. I mean, we had 907 yards, which isn't terrible. But again, eight touchdowns, that's pretty good. But it looks like we got to take on Jalen Hurts and the Eagles in the divisional round. So, I mean, we have quite the test right out of the gate here. But it looks like we're going to get a one-point win over the Eagles. So now we play Bryce Young in the Panthers for a trip to the Super Bowl. As you can see, they just shit on the Packers. So uh, this might be a rough game for us here. I mean, we held them to a field goal on the first drive, which is good for us. I'm going to try and hit Jamar Chase to start this drive off, and hopefully he's open. That is looking good. That's a first down, and we're going to hit the juke for even more yardage. But after that, I mean, Purdy has a lot of weapons to work with. I'm going to try and go for Debo here. The Panthers defense is loaded though i mean they have a lot of rookies on there oh yeah that's another one first down from debo i was gonna try and go for a run with mccaffrey but we got struck with a holding call which kind of sucks but hopefully debo can get open here because we have a lot of yardage to make up and that actually might be a touchdown we're gonna be just short i mean we need seven yards so i feel like now is probably a good time to pull out mccaffrey and hopefully we don't get hit with another holding call we're in for the touchdown so we're gonna take the lead first thanks to christian mccaffrey i mean i forgot the panthers scored a field goal so that gives us the lead but we're gonna sim to the end of this game and hopefully we can make one last run at the lombardi trophy this year as you can see we have the lead in the fourth quarter and time is running out they're gonna score again but the clock is going to run out, thankfully for us. So we're going to sneak out with a three-point win, which is going to send the Niners to the Super Bowl in year number five. And it looks like we're going to be taking on the Raiders, who are apparently a good team in 2027. I mean, the Raiders did score first, so we're already losing. I mean, even though we're down right now, though, I feel like we still have the advantage. I mean, you guys seen it just like always. The Niners are absolutely loaded with weapons this year, and that's going to be a first down from Chase. This might not be the smartest play to go for right now, but I'm going for a shot with Debo. If he can get open, this is going to be a lot of yardage. Oh, I really don't want to risk that. Come on, he's, we're still going to get a first down. Never mind, we're one yard short. I'm going to hand it off to McCaffrey. Hopefully, we don't get stopped behind the line. That is looking good. This might be a touchdown. Never mind, we're going to get caught. Either way, I mean, that run was ridiculous. I really need... Oh, hold on. We're going for Kittle. I was hoping Chase would get open here. We're going to find Kittle for another first, though. We need 16 yards, so I mean, this might not be a touchdown, but last time I gave the ball to McCaffrey, good things happen, and it looks like good things are going to happen again. It's not going to be a touchdown, but we're one yard short. So, I mean, as long as somebody can get open here, we should be in. I'm going to try and go for Chase again. This play has been working lately, and it looks like it's going to work again for the touchdown, which is going to tie the game up. But after that, I mean, it's time for the moment of truth, man. We haven't won a Super Bowl yet, and this is the last game of the video, so it's now or never. But unfortunately, as you can see in the fourth quarter, the Raiders have the ball. They gave it up. There's only 34 seconds on the clock though which isn't gonna be enough to score so the Raiders are gonna beat us by seven points I mean that was a pretty defensive game not a lot happened on offense I was really hoping this could be our year but it looks like we're gonna be getting shut down which kind of sucks I mean we had some good runs we made it to the Super Bowl twice but unfortunately we couldn't win it because as you can see the Raiders are gonna be hoisting the Lombardi trophy to end this thing off but anyways that's gonna do it if you guys enjoyed the video make Make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really help out the channel if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there you might as well comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out